He spoke in standard French, apparently with perfect fluency. His religious, his religious references were far fewer and much more vague, thus presumably more palatable to any Enlightenment deists or non-believers in the audience. Louverture would speak to the universal ideals that united the French and Haitian revolutions, freedom, equality, and brotherhood. He even made allusions to the Greeks and Romans, which was all the rage in Europe, but must have felt very distant to a black man who had never left the Caribbean. To an elite audience, he was never folksy, and he definitely didn't worry about sounding pretentious. He presented himself as an erudite idealist, motivated by high-minded universal principles. And the reason it worked so well was that both of these images were more or less true to life. The unpretentious ex-slave Toussaint from Breda and the idealistic General Louverture, loyal Frenchman and defender of Republican virtue, were both authentic expressions of his character.